Hey there, I'm Luke. Today we're going to talk about FAPE, or Free Appropriate Public Education. Specifically, we will discuss the following four topics. Number one, what FAPE is. Number two, how and when FAPE was formed. Number three, what free appropriate public education means for your child. And number four, we'll go through some common facts and myths surrounding FAPE. All of this on today's episode of Special Education Decoded. All right, before we dive into free appropriate public education or FAPE, I'm hoping you can help. On the bottom right hand side of your screen, you will see a little logo with the word subscribe on it. Click that real quick. Thank you so much. All right, let's dive in and help shed some light onto yet another special education acronym, FAPE. FAPE stands for Free Appropriate Public Education. We're going to be discussing who is entitled to FAPE and exactly how an appropriate education is defined. Before we go through those items, let's briefly touch on something almost incredibly ridiculous to us today. So foreign that it almost seems like this sort of thing could never take place in the United States. But it did. And not that long ago either. Prior to the 1970s, if your child had a disability, you basically had two options regarding their schooling. Number one, homeschool them. Or number two, send them away to institutions that could handle specific educational requirements. Can you imagine that only 50 years ago, those were your only two options? Now I know a lot of things are broken in our education system. We deal with and hear about them daily, but measuring progress just based on that one fact really makes a person speechless. It did for me when I first heard this. So what changed? Well, it started with the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, specifically Section 504 of that act. This section regarding FAPE says, no otherwise qualified individual with a disability in the United States shall solely by reason of her or his disability be excluded from the participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subject to discrimination under any program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. Since the free portion of FAPE spells out federal funds being used for schooling, children with special needs could finally receive the same public education that their age peers had been receiving, with modifications as needed, of course. So who is entitled to FAPE? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Education, it's all qualified persons with disabilities within the jurisdiction of a school district. What defines a person with a disability, according to Section 504? They have a physical or mental impairment which substantially limits one or more major life activities. Number two, has a record of impairment. Number three, is regarded as having such an impairment. Number four, in general, all school-aged children who fit into the category are entitled to FAPE. Next, let's discuss how an appropriate education is defined according to the U.S. Department of Education. How is an appropriate education defined? Number one, educational services are to meet the educational needs of students with special needs as adequately as they do for students without special needs, i.e. same learning outcome is expected. Number two, educate students with special needs in the same environment and students without special needs to the maximum extent possible for the individual. Number three, evaluate and placement procedures are established to guard against the inappropriate placement of students. Number four, periodic reevaluations of students who have been provided special education to ensure the services they're receiving are 
still what's best for their needs. Number five, establishment of due process procedures that enable parents to receive required notices, review their child's records, challenge identification, evaluation, and placement decisions. It's important to note that failure to provide people with special needs an appropriate education frequently occurs as a result of misclassification and inappropriate placement. It is illegal to base individual placement decisions on presumptions and stereotypes regarding people with special needs. For example, it would be a violation of the law for a recipient to adopt a policy that every student who is hearing impaired, regardless of the severity of the child's disability, must be placed in a state school for the deaf. That's a long way of saying that what's appropriate is based on the individual needs of a particular child, period. Okay, so we've discussed what FAPE is and when it was created and the role it plays in the education of your child. Now let's go through some facts and myths. Number one, your child might be charged for the special education services they will receive. Myth. This is a myth because the act calls for a free appropriate education for all children. Those children with special needs who require special education will be given such at no cost to them. Number two, children with special needs are not required to pass state assessments and grade appropriate work. Myth. Your child will be provided the accommodations and modifications necessary for them to meet their educational goals, as outlined in their initial individualized education plan, or IEP. Special education services have to meet the standard of your state's education authority and will be provided with every effort to ensure your child receives the proper instructions necessary for classroom success. Number three, a child with special needs must have access to extracurricular activities. This one is a fact. Under the FAPE section of IDEA, all children who receive special education services shall have access to the same non-academic and extracurricular programs and activities as those without disabilities. Number four, a child with special needs gets a better education than those who receive a general education. This is a myth. FAPE mandates that all children, regardless of disability, receive the same quality of education. All teachings, materials, and assistance must be provided to every child who needs them. And that is it for FAPE. I truly hope this video helped you understand more about free, appropriate public education. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see in a video topic, please leave a comment. Also, if you have any additional questions, please either leave a comment or contact us using the contact information located in the video description. We love interacting with our incredible community and strive to help simplify the crazy world of special education. From all of us at specialedresource.com, thank you for watching this episode of Special Education Decoded. We'll see you in the next video.